Hey guys, and welcome to the latest episode of the PlayStation 3 News here on PlayStationUniversity.com. Uh, welcome to the new year. Welcome to 2011. I hope everyone had a great and safe and wonderful holidays. And we're ready to start off this wonderful year with some amazing things. Now, to get in case you're new to the show, I am Googie, and I'll be bringing you all the latest and greatest, uh, basically a video recap of the biggest news that happened from the previous week. So to get started, Orb Networks has announced, uh, they revealed at the previous CES that they are going to be making new software that's basically going to turn the PS3 into an internet TV. Now, a lot of you might be asking, well, what's going to make this different from every other one out there? Well, some specs on it is that it's not just for the PS3, it's going to connect any Blu-ray connected device, which includes the PS3, to basically allow it to turn into an, like, like an internet TV, because it's basically going to allow you to uh, watch Hulu, Netflix, YouTube, and Amazon Video On Demand. But with all the other competitors up to like Google TV and stuff like that, people wonder what's the difference of it. Well, it's actually a lot cheaper solution. It's only going to, the software is going to be available for only $19.99, and it's going to support 720p and 1080p, and it's going to be coming out late February. Definitely something to check out. Also, Two Worlds Two. Two Worlds 2 has gotten a UK release of uh, February 4th, and they also revealed a Royal Edition, which is basically going to come with a bonus DVD, a world map, a Dragon Queen statuette, exclusive in game weapons, uh, Two Worlds 2 limited edition collectibles, and a deck of Two Worlds 2 playing cards. Now, this is going to be extremely rare and hard to get to, so make sure you pre order ex because this Royal Edition is exclusively from game. If you pre order from them, they only got 2,500 copies available, so make sure you pre-order it now, or else you're going to miss your chance out on it. Also, EA has announced its first downloadable content for Dragon Age 2. Uh, game's not even out yet, and they're already working on DLC, so you know that game's going to be supported down the line pretty well. And it's going to be called The Exiled Prince, and it's going to only go for $7. Now, it's going to be free if you pre-order the Dragon Age 2 Signature Edition. But those pre-orders are stopping, I believe, January 11th or something. So make sure you get your pre-orders in for that. Uh, and it's also set, Dragon Age 2 is set to release March 8th and in Europe, March 11th. So make sure you get your hands on that one. And some huge news here that happened over the holidays that I'm super excited about is the Tomb Raider trilogy is coming to the PS3 exclusively. We're going to get Tomb Raider Legend, <clears throat> Tomb Raider Anniversary, and the last outing, uh, Tomb Raider Underworld, with Tomb Raider Legend and Anniversary getting both an HD remake uh, for the PS3. It's going to be exclusive for the PS3. Now, a lot of people also were wondering if the downloadable content for Underworld was going to be included with it. Sadly, no. But you're getting three amazing games. Definitely something to look forward to. Coming out March 25th, and I believe it was like 40 bucks they're going to charge you for. Definitely got to pick it up if you're a Tomb Raider fan. Definitely got to pick it up. But speaking of HD remakes, Ubisoft has also announced the Splinter Cell Trilogy coming to the PS3. Now, I, don't, I don't know if it's exclusive, I haven't heard any like thing of the same if it's exclusive, but the Splinter Cell Trilogy is coming to the PS3, and it's going to be HD remakes of the original Splinter Cell, Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow, and Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. It's going to come out in 2011. Uh, as of now, I do not have an exact release date of it yet, but um, it also details I don't know if it's going to have 3D or move support or anything like that. I'll definitely be keeping you guys updated on that. Also, two Mass Effect 2 downloadable contents uh, will be free on the PlayStation Network until February 23rd. Now, these were downloadable contents for the 360 and PC that you had to pre-order in order to get them. It's the Terminus Armor and the Black Storm Heavy Weapon. And they're going to be free until February 23rd. And when it hits February 23rd, you're going to have to pay for them. So, even if you're not getting Mass Effect 2 right away, or even before February 23rd, and you plan on getting Mass Effect 2, which you should be, make sure you download them. You don't need the game to download them. It's going to be free. So download them, keep them on there, so when you get the game, you got them. A little tip. You know, definitely going to do that myself. And also, last bit of news here is, did you play Dead Space 1? Yes. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Are you looking forward to getting Dead Space 2? Yeah? Well, uh, would you like to get something for your effort in Dead Space 1 with Dead Space 2? Yes? Do you have a completed game save on Dead Space 1? Well, then you're definitely going to get something. Because if you, when you play Dead Space 2 and you have a completed game save of Dead Space 1 on your system, 
you are going to get the original plasma cutter from Dead Space 1 on Dead Space 2. Nothing too major, but the sad news about it is that all the upgrades you did to it in Dead Space 1 are not going to carry over. I don't know why, but I guess it's just you know, one of those things you're just going to get it. So if you love the plasma cutter, you're going to get it in Dead Space 2 as long as you have a completed game save of Dead Space 1 on there. And that's about it for this week. Sorry if I missed anything, been extremely busy and having a lot of stuff going on. Uh, before I leave though, I have one thing I do every week is the question of the week. And as you know, 2011 is just kicking off here. And gamers, this is probably one of the best years ever to be a gamer. With so many games coming out this year. Big games. Triple A titles. My question is, of everything that's coming out, multi-platform or exclusive, it doesn't matter. Anything. What do you guys think will be the biggest hit of 2011 and why? What would be the one game that would be bigger than all of them? Alright, i definitely like to see what you guys' answers on that. And, so, that's about it for this week. You can catch me here on PlayStationUniversity.com every Sunday between 7 and 8 o'clock and on our YouTube channel. If you're watching on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. If you're here on PlayStationUniversity.com, make sure you comment down below, you know, right down there, to let me know about the question of the week or any thoughts you got on the show. And, uh, you can also catch me on my YouTube channel on Monday, the following day I'll be uploading it on uh, YouTube slash Coogie. And I'll catch you guys next week. Right, take it easy. Peace.